Hi, this is Laura Cool. And this is Adrian Best, and this is the Cool Spasty Show. Wow. <laughs> My girl, she knows how to sing. <laughs> That's why we have her do the intro and not me. <laughs> how are you doing today, Aide? I'm doing really good. So today we decided we would do an energy update, and we've had so many clients that have been coming with the same fogginess, the... Um, don't know what to do, don't know where to go, so confused, and like, what else, Aid? What else are we picking up on? Just they're feeling really out of it. There's a lot of intense energy coming in, and a lot of people are feeling either they really have these highs of feeling really motivated or creative, and they really want to do something with their energy, or they feel like they really need to take some time for themselves and rest and take a step back from what their responsibilities are. So it's kind of all over the place as just the last week or so, at least mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but resting a lot but more. Resting a lot more. Taking naps. People who don't yes. normally take naps are taking naps. Yeah. And that's that's healthy, I think. I think that's like getting back into the rhythm. I honestly believe that when we spring ahead in the time that and the days get longer, of course, we get more energy. As we get more energy and we start to open up and since the energies of the earth are changing and Mm -hmm. they're so like so expansive now that we're like running on empty almost. And then you have Mm -hmm. all of these like EMFs and, um, you know, the 5G and all of that that we're trying to also you know, dance around as well, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's interesting that people are having difficult times just connecting and being more focused. Mm-hmm. So what I'm telling my clients is to rest more and to meditate, pray, sit still and ask why. Why am I feeling frustrated? Why am I feeling angry? Mm-hmm. Why... Right? Yeah, why do I feel this way in this moment? And what can I do for myself to stay present with the feeling? Because I know that's really hard for people. They they feel difficult. like it's, un- it's very difficult. difficult yeah. And they maybe don't want to stay still that long because our society is so fast-paced and we have a lot right. of distractions. Right, right. So when you, what I get from a lot of people is that when you really tap into their energy, you're finding that they really don't even have feelings. And I know mm-hmm. that sounds like, oh, Laura, come on, everyone has feelings. I mean, yes, we have feelings. Like if if I stub my toe, I say, ouch, and it mm-hmm. hurts, and that's a feeling. Talking like sitting down and asking yourself, why am I so frustrated? Mm-hmm. Like even the word frustrated is difficult. Yeah. A lot of times when they sit down... I can recognize before they even do what they're feeling. Mm -hmm. So, and that, of course, is a part of our gift, you know, being empathetic. But we're so desensitized that when we ask the people to look at their feelings, they're almost shutting down more Mm -hmm. and feeling more shame and guilt that they're not doing it right or they're not. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, so. It's like a should I, shouldn't I, or do I have to, or, um, or you backing know, away, backing like you away yeah. for sure, and 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 not staying with it, and being able to, to to just see the feeling for what it is, and not have this association with feeling of fear, or, you know, shame or guilt around the feeling that they're having, and it's kind of blocking them from being able to express what it really is that they're feeling. Right. Well, and I think that there's also a lot of anger and frustration and pain, Mm -hmm. sorrow, grief, right, that has not yet been felt. Yeah. uh, Probably over like a long period of time Mm -hmm. because we don't just get somewhere all of a sudden. Yep. Absolutely. It takes years and years and years to get that shut down, you know, and then you see your kids and they're so bright and happy and cheerful and in the moment of oh I don't feel good or I I hurt or what what not and that can trigger people too mm-hmm. in their own mind like 
my kids drive me nuts and I don't know why, but I can't say it because I'm a mom or I'm a dad and mm-hmm. I'm supposed to be this, that, or the other thing. Yeah. And to shut that down or to go inward even more, to like push it away even more. And then what are we teaching our children? Right. Or the people around us. Being irritated with them or upset with them in some way, shape, or form or assuming their feelings, right? So Mm -hmm. this is all about like doing this inner work and becoming true to self. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so our energy right now in the world is really pushing us towards that. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And how do we tap into those? How do we ask why, get uncomfortable for a minute, and move through it mm-hmm right and how do we how do we just accept that this is not you know this is all temporary but it's very important inner work that is helping not only yourselves but then actually the, all the people around you are feeling that shift as well when you do that inner work it's not just the person that's you know doing well, the inner working and is it okay to feel angry is it okay to in the moment to be frustrated or to not like want to go to the parent teacher conference is that okay (laughs) that's a really great question because so many people say well in that moment at work or maybe with my child in society we're told we're not supposed to do that or we have to do these supposed do's or have to's because of what society is expecting instead of what truly is coming to you in that present moment as a feeling that should technically is healthier to express in the moment instead of suppressing Right, honoring yourself. Honoring it, yeah. And it's it's okay to have things come up in that moment because it's, everyone's human. You know, we all go through this and it's... Absolutely. It's okay. What earning, or honoring, I'm sorry, honoring myself was one of the really most difficult things that I had to go through was honoring myself when I didn't feel well and calling my clients and be like, I'm sorry, I can't show up or... You know, when you when you connect with somebody on a reading level, mm-hmm. you're really opening them up to, you know, deep, deep-seated things that they need answers to. Mm-hmm. And when you cancel on them, I think sometimes that they take it really personally, like yeah. there's something wrong with them, when it's really us just honoring ourselves. This summer, I got, I, I got sick. I had... Um, a guest in the house that had brought a cold in and I generally can you know have a pretty good immune system so I could fight it off but for whatever reason I was told that I needed to detox and rest and Mm -hmm. which makes total sense now yeah from August to March I can see why and during that time I I had to call a client and she took it really personally because we just Mm. did a meditation or not a meditation a reading and I was like it wasn't about you it was totally about me but Mm -hmm. she took it as though I didn't want to see her or that there was you know whatever and right and I was like well you know maybe we were supposed to meet now and not then because lots have happened between then and now Mm -hmm. and so you know I always say that everything happens for a reason and it's right it's fine but yeah it's it's interesting isn't it it is and it's something that it can, like you said, it can take a long time for you to truly understand for yourself what that looks like on a personal level for honoring yourself and what does that look like on a day-to-day basis because it may change, but it's incredibly important. And I know for me, when I started doing that just in a true, authentic way without pushing it away, and as a mother of three children, that's hard enough as it is to find that time. But once I started doing it, everything just... Right. made more sense like it's silly to say that but there was so much more clarity I had I was more grounded I could actually show up more authentically because I was putting that energy back into myself in a loving way instead of saying I don't need to rest or I'm, I'm gonna take you know I can just keep going instead I just said okay I'm gonna do this for me and once you show up for yourself like that things are gonna really come to you and make more sense but also you're gonna be able to be around 
in a, in a healthier way for others around sure. you too. Right. Well, and this fog that people have been feeling too, mm-hmm. the intense fog of being right in the middle of something and being like, what was I doing? Where, what's yeah. going on? Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, where did I put my keys? <laughs> where was I going? I totally missed my exit the other day. <laughs> oh, that's right. That was a really weird I just day. started laughing. I'm like, I'm generally not one to like space out and like start thinking random thoughts, you know, because mm-hmm. I was like, I <laughs> this car from another state and Oklahoma. And I was mm. like, oh, yeah, I bet you like when we went to out to Colorado and California and, and whatnot, and we went that way. Yeah, we went we went through Iowa, right, mm-hmm. to get there in like 18151, which is where yeah. I was. I'm um, going up to Verona. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, like totally thinking about that trip out to California and yeah. all this stuff, which is so unlike me because mm-hmm. I really am very focused in the moment and yeah. being in the moment. And I lost myself for a minute. And then when I, when I passed it and I noticed as it was going by, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I can't turn off that quick owl kill myself (laughs) just keep going to the next exit and I was laughing because I was like oh this brain fog is this like not being able to like focus all your energy yeah and so what did I do is I became really very creative in Mm -hmm. in that time in this during this time period because what is creative it's expansive. Yeah. It's looking at something and creating something out of almost nothing. Mm-hmm. But being able to see it in your mind's eye before moving on, which is that right. that going into that space of imagination, of losing mm-hmm. yourself, there's a fine line, I guess, between being really focused and in the moment and then also allowing yourself to just wander off and yeah. look at the clouds and mm-hmm. see all the shapes in the clouds yeah. and being more creative which this energy is very creative mm-hmm. extremely extremely creative mm-hmm. like i have done so much creative work in the last <laughs> week mm-hmm. that is like almost a sense of wanting order i find too like organizing or decluttering or making a lighter space like for me that was very apparent for a few days and I thought wow this is really intense and cleaning and cleaning my house is so clean right now yeah it really is is. it's shining (laughs) right now she walked in and she's like wow (laughs) it's so nice in here (laughs) well thank you I do I appreciate that I do see I'm seeing that my windows need to be clean and like last night going to bed and having to sweep Oh, right. Like, what? Mm -hmm. I haven't done that since I was a kid. My room has to be in order all the time when I was a kid. Had to be in order before I went to sleep. Mm. And now, I haven't had that order in my life for so long, and here it is back again. Yeah. But I'm also getting sleep in my eyes like I was when I was a kid. Mm. Do you get sleep in your eyes in the Mm. morning? Yeah, well, yeah. Do you? I would say. Because mm-hmm. I feel that that's like a, a sign, too, of not being well, mm. not being, right, not yeah. completely healthy. And the more health comes in and the more that you heal and create and follow your heart and open up and fall in love, mm-hmm. the more, you know, the more health and wellness comes into your life as well. Yeah. Right? Yep. I've been sleeping really well, dreaming. Dreaming a lot. Everyone I've talked to for clients has said, I'm just having a lot of these intense dreams, and I don't always remember them, but they feel really real. And right. people are really experiencing that more on a new level that they and, weren't before. And my clients will call me, text me, Laura, I need help with my dream. I need help with mm-hmm. my dream. If you need help with your dreams, kids, peeps. Yeah. Like we are shout out ones, right. I mean, we. I am so good at interpret dream interpretation. It's like one of the, my favorite things to do. <laughs> it's really fun, and it's. A, I, I always find it a nice challenge when someone comes with this really complicated, really intricate dream. It's really fun to unravel that for people, and it brings so much clarity for them afterwards, going through it. Sure. And sometimes they realize, oh, this is 
causing me to feel this huge, you know, healing, um, healing place for them where they're expanding their knowledge about something that already occurred in their earlier in their life. And they're like, Oh, this really makes sense now because I'm seeing it from this new perspective. And it's really cool. Mm. There's so much that's happening right now. World's moving fast, feels a lot more expansive than it has all winter long. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about the tornado in California? I did not, no. Yeah. Now that's some strange energy working mm -hmm. because California, the west the west side of the country, normally doesn't see tornadoes. Mm -hmm. Now when I moved to Seattle, when I was there, they had a tornado and they said it hadn't happened in so long. And I was like, mm. hmm, what kind of energy am I bringing to right. that side of the world? I mean, I understand it now, but back then I was like, what? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> right. So what is the energy that is happening in the world, in, in our, just in our country? Mm -hmm. The as above, so below, the world is mimicking, the, our, our weather, I'm sorry, is mimicking our feelings, our mm -hmm. need to deconstruct, to be more creative, to re- right Do yeah almost re um kind of rethinking who we are and what we believe in and what we want to be doing going forward well and think about it like when you clean your your house right or you repaint everything gets really cluttery mm -hmm. move everything to the middle of the room or like yeah you want to reorganize or re move furniture around or whatever like it gets really hectic there for a little bit mm -hmm. and then when it comes back there's order yes and that's what this feels like mm -hmm. little by little the earth is saying come on re you gotta reorganize here mm -hmm. like reestablish what's important yeah open up to those feelings be aware yeah. ask yourself why mm -hmm. the question today or the word of the day is why <laughs> yes absolutely <laughs> why do i feel this tornado kind of going through me is this what can i do to go into that and where does this come from and why do i why does it make me feel this way why do i want to choke my husband <laughs> why do i want to kick the neighbor's dog because it won't stop barking <laughs> why is there so much anger in there <laughs> or frustration right. yeah why are you flipping off the neighbor <laughs> When there's no need to flip off the neighbor. Mm -hmm. All they're doing is walking across the street. Right. Where does it come from? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And where does it go? Where yeah. does it come from? Where does it go? What is that? That's a song. That is a song. Yeah. It sounds familiar. Yeah, because it's from the 70s and you're you're like a 90s baby. Yeah. I mean, I probably heard it in passing somewhere, yeah. but I would have no idea. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of an age difference between just, so, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> and so, you know, it doesn't really... It doesn't really show itself until we start talking about yeah. generational stuff. That <laughs> Music, <it's> like, yeah. <laughs> Do you know this artist? No. No. She doesn't this ever. This TV show? No. And she's so musical, and you're like, how do you not know this? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just don't know. How do you not know about the tornadoes? But I will say this. Adrian always knows what I'm talking about when we talk energetics. We are both right. like, mm -hmm. got it. Yep. Got it. Got it. Yep, it makes sense. When we come together, right. magical things happen. Magical things happen. Yeah. So the energy update for the week of March 24th, because this is going out on Friday, because I am going to post it today. Last week, I posted it on Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. That was that brain fog I kept going. That was, yeah, ooh. the spaciness. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm mm -hmm. like, why can I not remember to post this? And we had it done the day that we did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the pictures were downloaded. Everything. Everything was, was done. ready to go. Yeah. All I had to do was push download onto <laughs> yeah. YouTube. And did I do it? No. Energy fog? Perhaps. What's your energy fog? <laughs> Where's your mind fog? Where are you reorganizing in your life? What are you doing? 
what kind of issues are you having? Come on, share it with us. Like, share it in the comments about how you have been feeling during this week. Have you been feeling those energy shifts? Are you feeling, um, do you have questions about it? Shout out, peeps. Yeah. And of right course, here. always like and subscribe. Of course, absolutely. I'm sure most Hit of the them like and have. subscribe button because we love you guys. And we'd like we to get out to, to more this. people, but you know. It is what it yeah. is. We're just going to let God take us on this journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So thanks for having this convo with me today. Absolutely. Yeah. And thanks for joining us once again. Have a great day. Bye.